Yep, the aftermath. A lot of poo poo mud. Sewage mud. People pumping her, cleaning up their stuff. The aftermath of uh, the flood, one of the brooks here. Forgive the rocking, I'm in a wheelchair, but. Uh, don't go too close. Yeah, definitely. Right I mean, right, right in front of you. Right over here. The aftermath. Don't do, hey, don't go too close. Hey, hey, hey. When we're scanning, the water has actually washed out the undercut of the shoreline here. So we're probably standing on a couple feet of safety. This house is not totally devastated by uh, the brook overflowing. This is a brook, and this is flowing uh, a little hard right now. It's, it's almost back to normal. This is what it should be compared to what it was. And as you can see, the damage that's done here, the mud everywhere. Sad. Spanish-speaking television up here. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Viviana. From where? I came from Chicago. Thank you. Just a shame. Nice building. It's called the uh, the Wheatstone Studio for Arts. Totally gone. It's, the building is wiped out. The washed out by the rain. This sidewalk totally just washed away by the rain. Here's where the kids usually come and go uh, swimming in the water at the brook here. You uh, can't go in it now though. The whole thing's been deformed by the pressure of the water. Shane, don't go down there. Don't go down there, Shane. Get out. Now, see that water still flowing heavy. There's a shot for you. Old Ministry Church, right? You see mud in the road all over the place. Well, the water just flooded all up to uh, the road. People pumping out their cellars. Water and mud in the streets. Bacteria probably. Sewer. Sewer. <laughs> a few of the lucky homes that were on a mound above the two feet water level. Didn't do any damage. Beautiful homes. Beautiful New England homes. All these houses were almost spared on one side and the other on this end of the street. One of the nice, beautiful homes here in Brattleboro, Vermont that were spared the flood from Hurricane Irene. Beautiful homes. Next to our beautiful mountain over at Kinsdale, New Hampshire over there. Here's where the water started coming in on this side. 
this past the lumber mill. That's the parking lot. It's all covered in mud from the river. Lindy Motorcycles cleaning the aftermath. They're right here in the middle of it. Their shop got flooded. I don't know how deep it got here. As you can see the place is totally covered in poop filled sewage. Here's that sign that was underwater yesterday. You can see how tall it actually is, how deep the water was. What we're looking at is inside the building. And the water and the mud just stepped right in. All through the office, covered with mud from the river. This is all deep with grass. Now it's a pit hole. This was a, yesterday was a jet stream of water just flowing through here. Now they're cleaning up the devastation. A good man on the job. It's usually clear water, it's all brown now. All dark, dark, muddy water from the Connecticut River. Our beautiful country, mud and all. Sad. One side of the river flood, brook flooded, the other side safe, but a brook like this, over flooding causing all that damage. Here yeah, the road just washed out. Back to safety. This part of the store untouched on the other side of the brook. Devastation.
little babbling brook causing all that damage. 